Hello singers, I'm Sophie Shear. Today we're talking about microphone technique. Okay, what's the secret? How close do you hold it? How far do you hold it? Ooh, so many things that people say to do with the microphone. Okay, and you'll notice too, as a singer gets to the highest or the most intense part of the song, most of the time they tend to pull the microphone away. Why is this? Most, most people teach this, that that's a good thing. Okay, I come at things from a little different perspective. I kind of feel like if you have to pull the microphone away, then that means your voice is getting louder. And if you have to pull it away because it's getting so loud that it would blast the speakers if you continue to hold it in the same position, then basically you're using way too much effort in your voice, pulling the microphone, which is designed to help send your voice through the sound system, you're pulling it away and not allowing it to do its job. Instead, you, your voice is taking on all of that effort. You're just going to wear yourself out. All right, so for instance, let's take the Martina McBride song, Broken Wing, as an example. When I sing the chorus of this, And with a broken wing, if this is on, okay, and I'm singing with that much intensity, I have to pull this away or else I'm just going to blast the system out, okay? Especially on that last line. Man, you ought to see her fly. Okay, I'm using so much sound here that I have to pull the microphone away so it doesn't distort. Okay, let's try a different way. This is going to kill you if you keep doing it this way. So, instead of using all chest voice and too much of it at that, that's what I was just doing. That's basically trapping all of your sound right here in the lowest resonator that's responsible for noise in your head. That's the mouth itself. So, oh, I'm sliding up and down. I'm supposed to be switching registers or subtly transitioning through my registers, but I'm stuck in that lower register. So the top sounds overused. Okay, so instead of that, I'm going to mix. I'm going to blend some chest voice with some pharyngeal voice, which is like, hey, to kind of help take pressure off of that chest voice a little bit. So instead of, oh, I get stuck in chest, I'm going to say, ah. so it doesn't lose any presence. It doesn't lose any volume. But as you can tell, even from my face, it's a lot easier to produce. And I'm in much more control over the consistency of the volume. So when I use the mic, it's not going to be an issue. And with a broken wing, na 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 blossoming my voice and sending it to places I couldn't go without it. And I'm not working too hard for that. So now I transition it to the lyrics. And with a broken wing, she still sings. She keeps an eye on the sky. With a broken wing, she carries her dreams. Man, you ought to see her fly. Okay, there you have it. Now, if you need extra help with this, you can always check out the vocal primer, the complete vocal primer. There's one for the female singers, one for the male singers. And this will walk you through several different exercises that will help you develop your mixed voice and allow you to control your volume so you don't have to really mess with the microphone too much. If you need more information, visit vocalprimer.com. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe here to get all the new vocal tips and connect on Twitter and Facebook at Sophie Shear.